everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another what's in my professional makeup kit video. Today I'm talking all about the brushes I use in my professional kit. I do use different brushes on myself personally to the ones that I use in my professional makeup kit and there are a couple of reasons for this. Firstly, I don't want to have to be packing and unpacking and swapping over brushes all the time so it's just easier for me to keep them separate. But also I like to use the highest quality brushes that I can get my hands on in my professional makeup kit because my clients pay good money for me to do their makeup so I want their whole entire experience to be really luxurious and just really special. So the ones I use in my professional kit are a little bit more expensive and obviously if I'm filming YouTube videos I want the brushes I use to be more affordable so I guess there is a little bit of a difference between the two lots of brushes. So I thought I would just show you what my brush case looks like. This is um, a Ray Morris brush case and basically if you don't know who Ray Morris is, Ray Morris is the amazing makeup artist that I trained under for um, about the first four years of my makeup career so I'm a big believer in what she does. Ray's brushes are literally some of the best that you can get your hands on. Basically every professional makeup artist I know uses them and every client I use them on just loves the whole experience of the sensation and how soft they are and they're just a really beautiful brush to work with. The thing with Ray's brushes is that they're actually magnetic so they come in this giant case. I mean you don't have to use this case of course but I have mine in this case and this right here is a magnetic uh, holder. It's like a rectangle holder I will show you but this is how I store my brushes and it's actually a really neat system compared to the rest of my makeup kit. Now to show you what's inside, I will start with the most obvious thing, which is a beauty blender. I don't use beauty blenders that often, and I would say the only reason behind that is because when I started doing makeup, sponges were not great. Beauty blenders definitely weren't around as far as I was aware at the time, so I really didn't get to know beauty blender until maybe a year or two ago. So sponges back then were not good, so I'm just kind of used to using brushes and my hands rather than sponges but I do keep this in my makeup kit um, just in case sometimes it's really helpful to kind of push product further into the skin if it's not really working or it's just sitting on the skin too much. Next up I have these two little radiance brush cases um, both contain a radiance brush by Ray but they also both contain um, a contouring or a shading brush as well. When you buy them you don't buy them uh, with the excess brush it's just how I store them in my makeup kit. I actually was lucky enough to get my hands on some of Ray's brushes when she first launched them which is why there's different um, shades. These ones here are the originals and the darker uh, base is her newer style. Starting off with the Radiance brush, this must be Ray's most famous brush and it is very, very beautiful to work with. It's basically for foundation or anything that you want to buff into the skin. It feels so, so soft no matter how you use it. There's no, um, there's no sharpness to it. There's nothing uncomfortable about it. It's just incredibly, incredibly soft. This is by far one of the most popular brushes of hers that I know of uh, because there just aren't that many brushes like this on the market. So this is the number 26 Radiance brush. I then have a couple of cheek brushes. This one here is the Flawless Shader number 5 and this one here is the Ultimate Cheekbone which is number 3. So again, I use both of these for contouring. I would use this one mostly for chiseling out the cheekbones and then this one here I would use under the jawline, around the temple and in areas like that. And again, they are very, very soft and very luxurious. In fact, all of Ray's brushes are, so I don't want to be saying that for every brush that I'm going to show you. They're really soft, all of them are beautiful, high quality. Also, I just really wanted to tell you that this video is absolutely not sponsored by Ray, but I really do love her brushes and they are the main brushes that I use in my makeup kit. And if you stay tuned, I actually, uh, I've done a little deal with Ray uh, to give you guys a discount. So stay tuned and I'll mention that at the end. Okay, so this is the uh, magnetic brush holder. It also comes in a flat, um, just like a 
flat brush holder, but I use this little baby in my kit. And basically, you can stick all of your brushes to it and it's actually so super handy having them all standing upright in front of you so that you can just see it, pick it up. It's so much easier than rummaging through a brush roll or anything like that. I absolutely love it and I also think it's a really hygienic way of keeping your brushes. If you've got a dirty brush, just sit it over there. It's not going to touch the other one. It's so handy and I love it and I think any makeup artist, this is definitely worth making the investment. And these are the brushes that I keep on this magnetic brush holder. Starting with this one here, this is the number 22 Pro Powder Brush. I'm going to say it one more time, these brushes are so soft. So, so, so soft. They're like a little cloud, a little feather. They are very, very gentle. They don't pull on the skin whatsoever. They don't leave indentations on your makeup. I think that's probably the worst thing with a bad quality brush is that as soon as you kind of put it on your face, you can see the little indentations of the brush, which is not so bad on an everyday basis. But if you're doing beauty shoots and you're shooting this close up or this close up, you just cannot have that on the skin. The skin has to be flawless. So this is a pro powder brush, bronzer, powder, cheek colors if you want to. You use it however you want to. I've got a couple of these which are the number two mini kabuki brushes. Super soft but for a more targeted um, powder application. So um, a smaller blush area, you could even use these for highlighting if you want to. Um, targeted powder, you know the drill. These are the other two foundation brushes on top of the Radiance brush that I have in my makeup kit. This one here is the number 24 foundation contour brush. So this is actually really good for um, creating a cream contour. Um, but I also use this just to kind of slap on, <laughs> gently, very gently slap on foundation before buffing it in with a brush like this or the radiance brush but if you want to create a cream contour it's also really good for that this here is the liquid foundation brush which does a very similar job to the radiance brush so i think it really comes down to personal preference um, on the style that you prefer to use but i actually on myself i prefer this style but on other people i prefer to use the radiance brush go figure so this is really good for buffing in liquid foundations and it just creates a really beautiful flawless finish. This here is the number 21 mineral buffer brush made specifically for mineral um, powders or mineral foundations I suppose. But this type of um, brush hair is definitely best for powder products and not so much liquids or creams. Here I have a couple of eye shading brushes. This is the 7.5 Deluxe Round Shader, the 7 Deluxe Point Shader. So you can see that they are ever so slightly different. This one is a more, more, <laughs> more tapered point and this one has a rounder, softer um, edge. Both of these are for blending. This one covers a little bit more area when you push down further on the brush. And if you use the brush in a lighter way, it's more of a targeted smaller area. Hopefully that made sense. I actually have a couple of each of these because these are by far the most used brush because I might picking them up, putting them down, getting a different shade, picking up, you know. These brushes are very, very busy in my makeup kit. This one here is a number six deluxe pro blender. And for me, I use this for really targeted um, powder application as well. I feel like I've said that a couple of times throughout the video, but really I think you can just use brushes for whatever floats your boat at the time. But for me, I would use this for powder underneath the eyes. I would also use it for highlighting, for blush, for a little bit of a powder um, contour, even though I have actual contouring brushes. It's just a really handy little brush to have for blending basically any powder out. Here I have another couple of um, eyeshadow brushes. This one here is the number 10 Deluxe Oval Shadow. This one here is a medium oval shadow. So basically a very similar brush, but one slightly larger, one is slightly smaller. Again, these are awesome for blending and shading and applying eyeshadow. Um, I really do mostly just use these on the eyes, but like I said, you can use a brush however it works for you. 
This one here is a little bit special because this is specifically made for cream eyeshadows. All of those eyeshadow brushes that I've just shown you are really made for powder eyeshadows. This one here is a number 8.5 cream shadow shader. So yeah, that's the big difference is that this is perfect for use with cream eyeshadows. Now on to a couple more eyeshadow brushes. This one here is number 11.5 Eye All Rounder. This one here is the number nine detail point shader. I use these brushes to create more detail in my eye makeup. So they're also really good for inner corner highlighting, for creases, creases, cut creases. <laughs> I'm losing my words today. Anyway, these little brushes are really, really handy in a makeup kit. They just blend so well and I find that doing the more detailed sections of an eye, that's where things can really go wrong. So you want a brush that's gonna blend really well and just blend all the product really evenly. Okay, this little baby is the number 12 lash line smudger it is also seriously busy in my makeup kit and even on myself personally i love these brushes so this little baby is perfect for working underneath the eye or um, smudging the lash line but you can also do more detailed things such as a cut crease with it highlighting again highlighting under the brow bone it is just a really useful beautiful little brush to work with Okay, so these are three eyeliner brushes that um, I have of Ray's. First of all, there is the number 15 Precision Bent Liner Brush. And again, if you prefer to do your eyeliner um, using an angle brush, then this is perfect for you. Then there is the Deluxe Eyeliner Brush, which is a thicker version of the number 14 Precision Eyeliner Brush. So basically it all comes down to personal preference. And also it depends on the look you're going for. This one here is good for a much thicker liner. This one here is really good for getting into all those like little tricky ticklish places. So I'd actually recommend keeping both of these in your makeup kit uh, just for different liners that you might do. But again, it totally comes down to personal preference. I also have the number 17 mascara applicator, which is um, like a metal comb. I don't use this for applying mascara so much. I more use it to clean out the lashes um, and make sure that there are no clumps or, you know, lashes wanting to hang out with each other when they shouldn't be. I also have the number 25 fan highlighter brush for obvious reasons. A bit of this, a bit of that, a little of this and a little of that. This is the number 16 brow definer brush. It is a tiny little angle brush but it is so precise. To be honest, I use this mostly uh, for eyeliner rather than brows. I mean, I do use it for brows, but I'll often do a winged liner with this. Just because I find angled brushes to be really easy for doing winged liner. But again, totally personal preference, but this brush is another really handy one to have in my makeup kit. And lastly, I have the number 19 lip brush and the shape is just so perfect for getting a sharp lip line. Again, I feel like I've said this a hundred times, totally personal preference, but I find this really easy to work with. And if Ray made it, chances are it's going to be the best shape to use anyway. I'll show you other beauty tools in another video, but real quick before I go, I wanted to show you the brush cleaner that I use because I seriously think it is the best that you can get. This is from Scotty's Makeup and Beauty. It's called the Studio Brush Sterilizer. You can get it in, I think it's one liter bottles. Um, which is about four times the size of this. Um, but this is what I keep in my uh, makeup kit because it's smaller, it's spray, and then I can just have some paper towel on hand so I can spray the brush, wipe it, and it's a really quick way to clean my brushes in between clients or before I put them away for the day. So I thought I would share this with you. Don't sniff it, it smells very, very toxic. I find this to be the best brush uh, sterilizer there is and that's it guys that is my brushes in my professional makeup kit in another video I will show you what I use in my personal makeup kit but if you're a professional makeup artist I think it's so important to have the best tools you can possibly have for your clients so I definitely highly recommend using raised brushes and so I actually reached out to Ray and I was like Yo, I'm going to do a video about my brushes and obviously yours are it. So um, I was wondering if you wanted to do a discount for my followers and she was like, hells yeah. So I have organized for 20% off 
um, raised brushes on her website just for you guys. I will leave the code here somewhere. Somewhere here, I will leave the code. So you can just head to raymorris.com, check out the brushes. You get 20% off using that code. Please take advantage of this offer. I'm so grateful that Ray did this. Um, with me for you guys, but it really is an awesome opportunity to start adding or building your professional brush range. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.